5 Easy Homemade Natural Air Fresheners, That Really Work Who doesn't love to walk into a home and immediately be welcomed by a wonderfully fragrant scent in the air? Air fresheners are big business, and it's not hard to see why, but making them at home is much cheaper, and way healthier for you. I love making my own natural scented wax melts, and they're quite easy to do, but if you don't have a wax warmer already, there are some alternatives you can make right at home. Here are some of my favorite natural air fresheners. 1. Oil Scented Wood Blocks Scented wood blocks are really simple to make, and you can put them anywhere in the home where you want to freshen the air. What you'll need Package of crafting wood blocks 30-40 drops essential oils of choice What to do 1. Add your chosen combination of essential oils in a small bowl. 2. Put a handful of wood blocks into a plastic bag and drizzle the essential oils onto the blocks. Shake the bag well to evenly distribute the oils onto the blocks. Letting them sit overnight and the oil will allow them to really soak up the mixture. 3. Place a handful of wood blocks into a small tin, glass jar, or any other container of your choice. 4. Enjoy your air freshener. You can refresh the smell by repeating the above steps. 2. Natural Gel Air Fresheners Gel air fresheners started with those inexpensive cone-shaped containers you would put in your bathroom, then took off once big brands started making them for the home. Unfortunately, those commercial gel fresheners use a lot of chemicals to make them work, but we can easily make our own at home. What you'll need Unflavored gelatin Essential oils Food coloring, optional Small glass jar one half pint mason jars like these work great, and these special open flower jarlets are perfect for this recipe. What to do? 1. Follow the instructions to make your gelatin according to how many jars you will be using. 2. While your gelatin is cooking, clean your jars and add 30-40 drops of essential oils, and food coloring to the jars to get your desired shade. Note. Normally food coloring is not something I would recommend using because of the health implications from the dyes, but since we are not eating or applying this to our body, food coloring is completely harmless in this application. You can still omit it if you would prefer. 3. Once your gelatin is ready, slowly pour it into your jars and mix together well with the essential oils and food coloring. 4. Place your special flower lid on the jar or replace the flat metal lid with a round piece of construction paper with holes cut into it, then secure it with the outer metal ring. 5. Enjoy! 3. Rattan Reed Diffusers What you'll need Set of Rattan Diffuser Reeds Fractionated Coconut Oil This is different from regular coconut oil in that it won't solidify, and will stay an oil. Essential oils or dried herbs, flowers, small vase or glass diffuser bottles. What to do? 1. Add your essential oils, about 30-40 drops, to your small vase or glass diffuser bottle. You can also use dried herbs and flowers, but it won't be as potent. A combination of dried flowers and essential oils makes for a really decorative look. 2. Fill the rest of the bottle or vase with fractionated coconut oil. Regular coconut oil will not work because it will solidify at room temperature. 3. Mix everything together well, then place 5-6 rattan reeds into the bottle or vase. The reeds will slowly draw up the oil and fragrance, and diffuse it into the air. 4. Refresh your diffuser after several weeks by pulling out the rattan reeds and flipping them over. 5. Enjoy! 4. Baking Soda Air Freshener Baking soda has been used as a natural deodorizer for years, usually in your fridge to deodorize smells, so it's no surprise that we can use baking soda around the house as an air freshener. What you'll need Baking soda Essential oils or dried herbs, flowers Small glass jar with vented lid, I use these one half pint mason jars with a piece of construction paper with holes in place of the lid. What to do 1. Fill your jar with baking soda and add your essential oils, or dried herbs and flowers if desired. 2. Make several jars and place around the home to naturally freshen and deodorize the air. 3. 
Replace the baking soda once it starts to harden or get clumpy. This usually means it has absorbed moisture and won't be as effective in neutralizing odors. 5. Fragrant Simmer Pot Fragrant simmer pots have been used for centuries to bring wonderful natural aromas into a home just by simmering select ingredients. This is so simple to do, and it will keep your home smelling amazing all day long. What you'll need Large cooking pot, different food ingredients like, lemon, rosemary, and vanilla. Orange, cranberries, and cinnamon sticks. Apples, cinnamon, and cardamom. Lemon, basil, and mint. What to do, 1. Fill a large cooking pot with water and set on the stove to simmer. 2. Cut your desired fruit into medium thick slices, about 1 4 thick, and add to your pot. 3. Add additional herbs and spices to your desired aroma. 4. Let your pot simmer low and slow all day long to fill your home with a wonderful fragrant aroma. You can use the same pot for several days, but you'll want to change it out after 3 days to keep it from smelling off.